Welcome to DRP University, a video resource designed to demonstrate the practical use and innovation of DRP performance products. Now, let's head out to the shop. Hello, I'm Lenny Doughton. In today's segment, we're going to be discussing the DRP spindle fixture. Our spindle fixture was designed to be able to measure spindles, compare spindles, even custom build spindles. The fixture will measure pin height, pin offset, overall spindle height, king pin inclination up to 15 degrees, and of course, steering arm location. Additionally, our fixture will measure the ball joint alignment from hole to hole. Now we're going to actually use the fixture to jig up a spindle. In this case, I've got a wide five late model style spindle. To do that, we're simply going to remove the uh, spindle pin cap. We'll loosen the lower ball joint shaft. Then we'll place our spindle right down onto that shaft and simply let it fall forward into the holder. At this point, we would adjust the pin height and pin offset if necessary. We'll replace our pin cap. I will note at this time that we always hold the spindle pin at 90 degrees. Snug that down. At this point, we can install our our kingpin extension shaft and it simply screws right down onto the lower ball joint. I'll raise it up to the top pin then I can snug it down. Now I can use my upper ball joint pin which is a tapered pin, thread it right into the top of the spindle. If this pin does not line up with your ball joint extension shaft then we have a king pin alignment issue or a ball joint alignment issue. Once that's in place, at this point I can measure king pin angle. And I'll do that simply by using a digital level, measuring the angle of my plate, making sure that it's level and if it's not, taking that into consideration, and then putting my uh, digital level right on the back of the uh, king pin shaft here. This spindle here is uh, measuring nine degrees. At this point, I can adjust my steering arm uh, to its location. The steering arm ball joint will rotate 360 degrees for any angle steering arm. I'll leave that loose, use my spacer shims on top to come up to my steering arm height, lock my bolt down, and lock the ball joint down. At this point, I can log down all of my numbers, height, offset, uh, ball joint angle, etc. I will note that this fixture is billet steel. It weighs about 80 pounds. And at this point, I can now remove the spindle uh, once I log down the measurements, compare it against another spindle, or build a spindle from scratch.